Sorry I was going on YouTube, The Collective. I am Simone. I'm Chia the Surf. And I'm Jay the Black. And, and this, this is Pundit. Alright you guys, this is a segment called 50 for 50. And this is basically, we bring up four topics. We gotta choose two out of the four. Y'all tell me if y'all interested or not. Ready? Mm -hmm. First topic, a rapper from D.C. under the name Young Jose this shot Glizzy because he does not visit D.C. and give back. Interested or not? I'm interested just interested. for the fact that I actually have like a opinion on that. Okay. Okay. Well, keep that in mind. Second, Lil Nas X is endorsed by Wrangler and have his lyrics on the back of their pants and people are angry about it. It's Interested stupid. or not? Declined. That's a stupid topic. Okay. He said Wrangler on my booty. <laughs> it's not wrong. Sorry. But people are, people are really angry about it. Next, number three. Mm. Future gets his son a Rolex while Russell Wilson says a long paragraph and shows him love. Interested. Interested or not? Uh, interested. Number four. Rihanna confirms that she has a new album coming out, but it's based around reggae music. Interested or not? Not interested. Not until the album comes out. All right. That's two out of four. 50 for 50. So, first topic. Glizzy can't come to the hood. Uh, 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 Richard Milley, bitch, we out here. Mr. Ice Cream Man, Glizzy himself. Hey, hey who run? Who run 37? Shy. Damn, your goofy ass niggas a whole cam right here. Bitch, you right here in the alley. Bitch, you already know ain't shit gonna go down. You was a whore, nigga. And when you ever pull up in the alley, your bitch ass nigga, you pull up. Outside. Friend, you don't even live around the corner no more to come glance at the nephew doing it up. And they told him don't come around no more. He said, fuck that. Shaq Lizzy and I think it's Young Jose. Mm -hmm. First of all, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to sound racist. But you're black and your name is Jose. Oh, you think it's a little culture appropriation going on? Just Unless you're Dominican, then I'm apologizing. Okay. Jose? In my opinion, have either one of you heard of this man prior to this? No, not at all. Not a lick of him. So, your opinion's irrelevant to Shy Glizzy because he's bigger than you. Second of all, it's fair for Shy Glizzy to like not come back because one, he's not that he's not exactly that big of a star yet. And two, we saw what happened to Nipsey. I'm sorry to bring that up, but it's I best agree. for you to get out of here, bro. Agree. It's best for you to get out of here. That's why Wale don't live here. Exactly. That's because people. Like young Jose is gonna hate on you, and then you gonna get shot, and everybody gonna be saying Russell shot. And that, shot that was gonna be my point. My point was gonna be how how do you expect someone to give back when the people that you give back to aren't grateful for when you get when you do give back? That's why Wale left, that Trail left. <laughs> is that, they don't live here. Rico Nasty left. She's in California. Yeah, I was well. she got out of here the minute she signed. So. so I'm pretty sure if that was you, I'm pretty sure you will be gone too. It's just nothing. We don't have resentment for it. I don't think DC. I mean, we may have spurts that we say, man, he's not around no more. Yeah. But I don't think nobody is actually mad that people leave the area of DC. I mean, you can't be. Because, I mean, let's be honest here. We barely even support them when they make it out. The bigger that you so, are, the more enemies that you have inside your own city, which is crazy. Yeah. So, from my sources, even when Shaggy doesn't, not that he doesn't want to come back, but he know he's not that hood hood no more. Ever since he moved to Calabasas, mm -hmm. so it's like, yeah, he's still hood because of his music, but it's like, like they said, look what look what happened to him. That's right. And also, even before then, I think he was. From my sources, even before then, he was wasn't like they were smoking, but he also had like champagne and stuff. What other nigga know got champagne in the studio? Mm. Like he was already trying to get out that hood mentality before he left. So you can't really get mad if he was already starting it before he left. And it's nothing, is is nothing to not because your mindset changed as you start to evolve and get older 
and get money yeah. and see real money coming in. Exactly. You don't want to be pointing guns or videos all your life. Like that, the the whole like DMV flow and all of that stuff, it doesn't go anywhere. Right. You I agree. stay here. You have to change your sound when you make it mainstream. You have to. And Shaq Lizzy has effectively done that, but still kept a little bit of them. Yeah. So it's okay. I don't. I think Jose is wrong. I mean, he's wrong because... And he's cloud chasing. Yeah, he is cloud chasing. Well, maybe that's what he wanted. Maybe he did want to cloud chase and that's what got him. So we can do this. Talk about it. Exactly. So he's getting famous for all this. All right. So next topic. Future by his son of Rolex. Russell Wilson shows love with a shout out. Who y'all siding with? Future. Both. Because honestly, little Future has two different sides to him. He got the little... You know, preppy, you know, play football type of guy. And when he gets his power, he's straight hood. You know, I seen a video on Christmas, he had the glasses on, the song was playing, he was doing like this with his brother. So he has two different sides to Okay, him. so do you think you could buy your son's happiness? I don't think Which we don't know, by the way. I don't really think he's buying his happiness. I think Future want like any guy who has money, flashy, flashy. He wants his son to have a Rolex, he's going to buy his son a Rolex. Yeah. Mm. He has the money to buy his son a Rolex. Okay. So it's like... But my thing is, what does he know what to do with the Rolex? He was going he, with this! Yeah, I was about to say, I don't, even, I don't um, even think it's like about the actual, like, his son flexing. He just wants to show his son, hey, you can have this. Because hmm. you introduce... Buy you this. Yeah, you introduce your kids to, like, stuff like that at a young age. I mean, that might get them kind of spoiled, but I mean, at the same time, getting, a, like, a, a, a Roly, that's a hood nigga's dream. Hmm. You know what I mean? He's just trying to show him, hey, you can achieve something, maybe. Mm-hmm. Or maybe like you know, maybe but then also, he's gonna grow up as a stand-up guy because he's gonna have two sides to him. He's gonna know when to put his hood away. He's gonna know when to show it. Okay. It's always and a, to me in a male, male, male it's going like a female perspective. Sorry, going a little too deep. But it's also nice. It's I guess when like females like you how guys like you don't want a hood guy until y'all get the shooting. But that's not what we always mean. We mean like. They have the persona and the aura of a hood guy, but also know how to be. Hello, this is Jake. <laughs> that was so <laughs> Lord, forgive me. And then at the same time, okay. Future did shout out his son on his Instagram story. Hmm. He did say, hey, I love you, you know, prayers up for you, so. Go to sum that up. It wasn't a paragraph, but it was something. Well, I'm, I actually don't side with either. I'm pretty neutral because... I don't know what goes on in their household, For so sure. I can't say that future is like 100% wrong. You can't buy your son's happiness, but at the same time, I don't think he knows the value of the Rolex yet mm-hmm. because you are young and therefore you may teach them, don't mean you know it. And Russell shows pure love, and we don't know if he bought him anything either, but the love is what matters, and as long as he's getting from both places, it should not matter. That's true. Right, that's right. So, that's what we have to say about our topics. Tell us what you think in the comments below. Also, if you're an artist, hit that email, TV for you at gmail.com for your song being played, promotion, and even our theme song. And thanks for watching.